What is going on? Hotter summers, stronger storms, and rising sea levels. These are some of the most severe conditions that our planet Earth is experiencing right now. And have you wondered why? Well, as it turns out, these are basically symptoms of a global phenomenon called climate change. As the name suggests, it describes the long-term shifting, or change, of the Earth's temperature and weather patterns, or climate. Now the thing is, this changing of the Earth's climate has actually been a natural thing for the past million years. And so, you may wonder, if that's the case, then why has the Earth's climate gotten more worse and more violent lately? What happened? Did we do something wrong? Well, before we answer those questions, let's first see how all of this works. As we all know, much of the heat we experience here on Earth comes from the sun. But have you wondered why? Well, imagine you're wearing a sweater during a hot sunny day. You feel quite cozy at first, but then over time, you feel a bit hot and maybe uncomfortable. The same thing pretty much applies to Earth. As the sun's rays reach Earth, some of it is bounced back out to space, but some of it is trapped in the atmosphere, absorbed by certain gases and re-emitted as heat, warming the planet up. This is called the greenhouse effect, and the gases that are involved in this process are called greenhouse gases. Most common of these are carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. Also, Earth's natural greenhouse effect makes life as we know it possible, because without it, the planet's average temperature would drop to as low as about negative 18 degrees Celsius. But greenhouse gases are also one of the biggest contributors to climate change nowadays. Imagine again you're wearing a sweater during a hot sunny day, but then you wear two more on top. Now it feels even hotter under there. Same is true for Earth. Ever since some point of time in the past, humans have released more greenhouse gases than ever before. And the more greenhouse gases there are, the more heat will be trapped and the warmer the planet becomes. So, too much of a good thing is a bad thing after all. Now, remember this graph from earlier. This is actually the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere over time for the past 800,000 years. By the way, we know this data because of air bubbles trapped in deep ice, which serve as sort of like time capsules. The same way that archaeologists dig deep in the soil to find artifacts to learn about ancient civilization, paleoclimatologists, yes, long word, drill long cylinders of ice called ice cores to learn what our planet was like hundreds of thousands of years ago. Anyways, this graph suggests that with natural climate change, the long-term warming and cooling of the Earth stays consistent. But, there's a spike at the end. This is because, since the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s, humans have emitted more greenhouse gases than ever before, even more than at any point in human history. More carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide have been emitted because of burning of fuels for transportation and electricity, agriculture and management of livestock waste, and industrial production of materials, among several others. And the more greenhouse gases there are, the more heat will be trapped, and the warmer our planet gets. As a result, more severe effects and disasters are expected to happen in the near future. Ice in the Arctic and Antarctic will likely melt even faster. Storms and tropical cyclones will likely become even stronger. Sea levels will possibly rise as high as 2 meters. And droughts or heat waves will become more frequent, among several others. As of now, our greenhouse gas emissions are not showing signs of slowing down. In fact, the level of carbon dioxide emissions in early 2022 was higher compared to those in before the pandemic. And so, if in the future you see even hotter summers, even stronger storms, and even faster rising sea levels, know that these things happen because of climate change and our emission of greenhouse gases. We are causing the Earth to be in the state that it is right now. And now you know what is going on.